this is the best scoop this game. Without a doubt. Yeah. That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for it, Alfin. This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. Bolron! He really was still alive. And there's the Renis Alma. Then, is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, though. Something doesn't seem right here. Oh, once more, the powers must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena, at the shrine of the true sovereign. What has happened to him? He's lost himself. Reduced to a mere cog in the machine. Uh, hey, look! Over there! Isn't that... the Maiden's Crest? Can it be... that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? It looks like it's still running, but... are we already too late to stop the ceremony? That's what caused Lenegus's transformation. And the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renis Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. <sighs> He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. Alfin, look! <laughs> the Red Woman! So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? Uh, they all have the same face? How is that even possible? <laughs> what is this? Who the hell are they? It can't be. Are they even people? It's hard to know for sure, but I think they're the true rulers of Rena. Feeling particularly confident. It's no use, Alfin. If we don't fight, we may as well be sitting just here. Good point. Let's stop them before this gets out of hand. Oh, 
Fighting is useless now! Do you think it's really over? <sighs> Astral energy. Watch out! They've got something up their sleeve! <clears throat> <clears throat> what? It's self-destructed? Elfin! <sighs> I'm okay. Just a little roughed up. You had me worried there. Who said you could touch that? <laughs> Damn it! He's awake! should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. 
We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down. Sovereign or not, you will pay for that. You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. Really, is that what you think? Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alfie? who happens to be another Sovereign. Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the Sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of Sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with the designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. Every one of them besides me died. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library, for you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart, and yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. <sighs> Then you mean, Boron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right, Boron? So he posed as a Renan and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? Renan and Dan are meaningless distinctions. Me and everyone else. That is all that matters. <laughs> I will stand above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. <sighs> A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Renna this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Don't do it! Never forget, 
I am the one who devours everything. Who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law. I am... I am... Are you two okay? Yeah. We'll be fine. Is Volron... Have we finally seen the last of him? We can but hope. Those red women... What the heck was their deal? Could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renis Alma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the Motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human, that's for sure. So this thing over on Rena, that's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Rena Salma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. Then we're agreed. Let's head back to the starship. But seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be here. He seemed to care not one whit about Renan's or Danan's. Yeah, not in a good way like with us. <laughs>